guys and welcome back. So this is gonna be another book haul video. It is my part two of my ridiculous amount of books that I bought recently. Um, so this video is gonna be classic books and non-fiction. So let's get into it. So the first is Hard Times by Charles Dickens. This was my first Charles Dickens book that I ever read and probably one of my favorites as well. Um, maybe like probably my second favorite. My first is A Tale of Two Cities. So this is a mid-Victorian northern industrial revolution sort of book. Um, it's very... I remember reading it in school and all of the kids found it really boring but I found it really fun and interesting and I just love the atmosphere of it. Um, definitely one of my favorite classics of all time so I'm really excited to have it again because um, I only had like the, the school version um, so I have to give that back but now I finally after all of these years bought it again and I'm really excited to read it again. So the next is Cider with Rosie by Laurie Lee. This is a memoir by Laurie Lee I think um, of his childhood and growing up in the Cotswolds which is one of my favorite places in the UK so it just seems like a really fun country summer kind of read. Um, absolutely gorgeous cover as well, I love it, um, and so I'm really excited, I've never read any Laurie Lee before, so this will be my first one. Next I have Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. So this is a masterworks, obviously. So it is a fantasy, and what it is is about a man with a really low IQ, I think he's the janitor, and he gets involved in an experiment that turns him into a mega genius. But it doesn't last I think um, or like it, it may not last he may get his old IQ back and all of his fame and popularity will go away and he may even die I think so sounds really interesting um, so I think this might be the next classic that I read I'm so excited to read it then the next I have is The Willows by Algernon Blackwood this is a short story but it's, um, I think you can get it like in an anthology, but this is like printed by Amazon or something like that. Um, basically this is meant to be like one of the scariest or one of the best horror stories ever. Um, and so I'm totally into that, you know, I hope it's as good as like H.P. Lovecraft and all of that say it is. Um, don't know what it's about, I think it's something supernatural to do with willows obviously. Um, and I don't know why it's scary, I don't know what the scary thing is, so really really excited to read this. Then I have When Elephants Weep, The Emotional Lives of Animals by Jeffrey Mason, Mason and Suzanne McCarthy. So, pretty self-explanatory, it's um, about the emotional lives of animals. Um, and I'm guessing that this is going to be towards animal rights or um, the consideration of animal cruelty or something like that. Um, not sure but there's dolphins, monkeys, um, all sorts of different species in here so excited to read this and hopefully it is enlightening. <laughs> then I have Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons. This is one of my all-time favorite movies if you haven't seen it totally need to. Um, it's a very famous book if you know the line there's something nasty in the woodshed that is from this book. So, um, yeah, I haven't read the book before but love the film so I thought I'm, you know, I gotta read the book. So, what it is is that this posh girl goes to live with her not-so-posh family in the country and they're all pretty balmy, they've all got something strange about them and they've all got, like, desires that they want to do and she helps them all with their dreams and ambitions and it's just a really, really lovely country English book so absolutely love this. Next is Billy Bathgate by E.L. Doctorow, I think it said. Um, this is a 1930s New York gangster book. Um, I'm definitely in a Peaky Blinders mood at the moment, um, so this seems like an appropriate book to read. Um, so yeah, I really, really, I just love this like time period, especially America, especially American mobsters, gangsters, that sort of thing. So. Um, I believe it's a story about a young, I think he's 15 years old or something, a young boy who gets involved with a, a big American gangster, gang sort of thing. So it sounds really fun, really excited to read it. Next is The Hive by B. Wilson, this is like the most appropriate name ever for an author about bees. 
Um, so this is the story of the honeybee and us. I believe it is um, like it focuses on like how humans have used bees or how um, bees have been symbolized in all different sorts of societies. Um, so yeah, like you've got work, sex, politics, food and drink, life and death, things like that. And uh, apparently it's got some recipes in as well, uh, but I don't really eat honey. But if you like bees like I do, then um, I'm sure you're gonna love this. I'm sure I'm gonna love this because I'm so in love with bees, they're just like the cutest things ever. So very excited for this. Then I have The Pig Who Sang to the Moon by Jeffrey Mason. So this is uh, focused on farm animals like ducks, sheep, cows, pigs, that sort of thing. Um, and I guess uh, I think it's also to do with animal rights and animal advocacy and things like that. So um, really excited to read this as well. So speaking of Peaky Blinders, we also have J.G. Farrell's Troubles, which is n based around the time of the Irish Civil War, so like 1919, and it's focusing on a a bee just hit my window, that was so cute. <laughs> it's focusing on a hotel which is like failing and decrepit and I think it's meant to be some sort of um, like symbol for the UK at the time or something. So it seems really interesting and again like because Peaky Blinders I just want to read stuff about that time period. So speaking of Peaky Blinders I also got a uh, Peaky Blinders hat because I'm a loser. But yeah, it's a proper Tommy Shelby type of hat. I am not going to make it a dangerous hat, but I just wanted it because it's fun and it's cool looking and yeah. <laughs> so those are finally all of the books that I have to show you from my absolutely ginormous book haul. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm so excited to get into all of these books and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.